In more than five decades as an actor, John Boyd has played everything from a would-be hustler to a doom boxing champion. He's with us at the table, yay, this morning. But first, we're going to take a look back at his remarkable career. Oh, boy. <laughs> the only one thing I've ever been good for is loving. His big break came starring opposite Dustin Hoffman in the 1969 cult classic Midnight Cowboy. Everybody's talking. The film earned him an Oscar nomination and became the first X-rated movie in history to win an Academy Award for Best Picture. He was the best of us. He went on to star in such films as Deliverance, The Champ, and Runaway Train. Being around me is really stupid. I'm at war with the world, everybody in it. And in 1978, he won an Oscar for Best Actor for his portrayal of a paraplegic Vietnam veteran in Coming Home. And I wanted to be a war hero, man. I wanted to go out and kill for my country. Voight has also become a pop culture icon, recognized for his appearance in the comedy Zoolander. Can't you even pretend to be happy to see me, Pop? Damn it, Derek, I'm a coal miner, not a professional film or television actor. For his cameo on Seinfeld. <laughs> and for starring opposite his daughter, Angelina Jolie, in Tomb Raider. I would never do that to a woman. The 74-year-old actor continues to wow audiences as a murderous patriarch of the Donovan family on the Showtime series Ray Donovan. Out! His voice is also featured in the new action thriller Getaway. The police will be looking for you. That's about a former race car driver forced to comply with a villainous mastermind after his wife is kidnapped. Mm. Getaway opens in theaters this Friday. Christopher Walken, it's good to see you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> when we were looking at that piece, you said that was my Chris Walken phase. Because do people actually get you mixed up sometimes on they the street? Do. do they, they do. come up to you Chris and say that? Chris and I actually had a lunch together just so we could, you know, show that there are two that individual people. There are two people. different people. Yeah. There's a lot to talk to you, to you about. We'll talk to Getaway in just a second, go over your career. But I got to start with Ray Donovan. Ray Donovan, because Mickey Donovan is creepy. He's slimy. He's unpredictable. He's sadistic. And yet, people are so fascinated. We love this guy. What's wrong with us? Yes, that's the question. Yes, what is wrong with us? You don't mind being called a slime ball? No, he's a, he's a mess, Mickey. But uh, but I'm enjoying, you know, being part of that. And uh, and uh, it is surprising that people have caught on to this character, it. right? But, but listen, but, you go know, ahead. I'm, I'm in good company there. I mean, no, wonderful no, you've actors, got a, an great, amazing cast, great but, uh, showrunner. But John, you're, but John, you're 74. They had a scene of Mickey. Dun what? <laughs> 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 okay, 52. <laughs> you're 74. There was a joke. You go to Hollywood, you know, you sit by the pool, you know what I mean? You get a little nap, you wake up, and you're 74. 74. <laughs> but at 74, they have you dancing around very seductively with a towel. Yeah. Did you ever think at the age of 74 you'd be doing that? I've always dreamed of it. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Your dream has I come true, Mr. I just thought that would Boyd. be a wonderful idea. Well, anyway, it is a, a, an unusual character, and uh, people have latched onto it, and uh, it is surprising. Yeah. Right. You've had a, an amazing career, but you've, you also turned down some really big parts, including... I did. Yeah, you, yeah. Turned, down, you turned down Jaws. You turned down Superman, even though Arnold Schwarzenegger made a personal appeal for you to, appear, appeal for you to take the role. Yeah, Arnold, the director said to me, John, would you, I, I said, I can't do this part. I'm not physically capable of doing this part. He said, would you do me a favor? He said, I have a friend, and this is before Arnold became Arnold, right? Uh -huh. He said, would you, uh, would you take a call from Arnold Schwarzenegger? I said, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I happen to know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is. He's a five-time Mr. Uh, Galaxy or whatever it was. I said, I'd love to speak to Arnold. He says, well, just take the call, and maybe it'll convince you. So I picked up the phone, and I said, uh, Arnold, he said, Sean, how are you? <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm good, Arnold. I said, uh, you know, uh, it's nice to talk to you. I told him who I knew who he was. He said, uh, he said, John, take the part. In two months, I make you big as a house. <laughs> <laughs> and you still I said, that. Arnold, I don't want to be big as a house. <laughs> but but uh, it, was, it was nice to talk to him. And, uh, no, but it, it didn't work. You, it said you were very selective with your movie roles. And now yeah. your daughter, who's also very famous, has followed in your footsteps. We hear that you're very proud of her. But your relationship with Angelina has been described as rocky. How would you describe it today? Is it, are you guys on good footing? Yes, we're on, uh, on the, you know, back on track and uh, I'm very proud of her and uh, you know we and I'm so happy with the grandchildren. Are you a hands-on grandfather? I, I, well, I try to be yeah uh -huh. I, uh, I spoil the kids uh, as much as I can yeah. I'm, I'm crazy about them mm -hmm. and they had, had a wonderful article in People magazine I that I that. just picked up recently and it gives you a little 
thumbnail sketch of each of the kids, and it really is quite telling. It's a very nice little yeah. description of each no, of the guys. You were in this new movie we we're talking about, Getaway. You actually, for almost all the film, all we see is like your lower jaw and hear your voice. It's a creepy Sometimes voice. Sometimes my eyes. Yeah, that's true. And but, John, even know. that's creepy. Yes, it Do is. Do you like playing creepy? I am creepy. Yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> Are you really acting, John Voight? Is that your personality? Uh, but you took that role knowing that we would see very little of you. Right. And you and, were and, okay and with that. We never, th I never thought it would be publicized. I never thought I'd be going out doing public. It was kind of a surprise. Do you know what I mean? We would have put me in the edges of the picture and then you see me briefly at the end. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the web got a hold of uh, me and identified the voice and and so I, you know, you were outed. I'm, I'm outed, yeah. yeah. But I, was, I must say that, you know, Ethan is wonderful in the picture. Yes. He's a wonderful actor. Yeah, Ethan. he is. He is. And He's Selena Gomez is terrific. Did you know who Just Selena terrific. was when you started? In the beginning, yeah. I didn't. I had to be acquainted a little bit with yeah, her. But, and she's very impressive in every way. But in the picture, she's got a dramatic part, and she's terrific. And now is she on your iPod? <laughs> <laughs> no, your iPod ringtone is what? I, I have a Galaxy. I should. should okay. Say. But go ahead. Uh, whatever the technology yeah. is. But I, I, I looked up the list of things, chimes, you know, whatever. And, what's on it? and everybody's talking was on it. And everybody's talking from Midnight Count was the one of my song, favorite. Yeah. You Mine know, too. You know, Mine songs. Too. So uh, I. I I actually have it. Can you imagine? I'm sitting there and the phone rings and everybody looks around and it's me. <laughs> yeah, John <laughs> Boyd. Everybody's talking at me. Thank you, John Boyd. I love that song. Great. You can see Ray Donovan on Showtime. That's a division of CBS every Sunday night.